Hi, I'm Shana with Adventures in Fluff, and today I'm going to show you how I've decided to organize my diaper changing station. Thought it was high time I got it all ready to go since we're due here in five weeks, so I think it's pretty much there and um, we're ready whenever he comes. So anyway, this is my diaper changing station. The nursery is pretty small, so I couldn't fit a full-size dresser, but I got a regular diaper changing table with um, shelves on it. And um, I added some cubbies below, and that's what I'm keeping most of my um, diaper changing things in. And so we'll just kind of go through what I have here. Right here I have um, my first bin, and this one is kind of temporary. It just has all my disposable diapers that I'll be using for the first um, couple of days until the um, meconium goes away, and um, and then we'll we'll switch this out and um, put the diaper covers in this one. But for now, that's uh, all my disposables. I have my wipe warmer right here, which is convenient because I have a plug right behind this table. And my other um, highest, most convenient bin, I have all my fitted diapers. So I have all my Kisselow size zeros in here, and then um, my Thirsties fitted, and then all my um, extended wing or uh, winged prefolds that I made with t-shirts in the back. And so those are all my fitted and wing prefolds right there. And then down on the bottom I have two larger size bins. And so the one on the left has all of my all-in-one diapers and all of my um, pocket diapers. And it seems like a pretty good size, at least for the newborn stage. I'll probably have to reorganize this when I get to the stage afterwards because the diapers are going to be a little bit bigger so they might not all fit in there. I might have to take up both of these bins for my um, fitteds and all-in-ones but for now it works. And then on the one on the right I have all my pre-fold diapers um, both with the extended wings or extended tabs and um, without and then I also have all my covers in here. Now, as soon as I'm done with um, all the disposables, I'll move all the covers up to up to this bin, and then I'm going to put all my flats in here with my prefolds, and that's what will go in that bin. Now, you probably noticed I have one last little cubby behind my wipe warmer. And this is all the stuff I don't really need that much. It has my diaper sprayer. I haven't installed it yet. And then I have like um, my lanolin to clean all my wool, my extra um, butt cream. Um, I think that's the Grandma L's one. And then um, my extra wipes juice and everything like that. So everything that I probably wouldn't get to that often is um, back in that cubby. Now to the left of my diaper changing station, I have my um, diaper pail. And I ended up just getting one at Target, and this one's great. All you have to do is, you know, just drop it. So I could actually just drop the diaper on there, and it would actually just fall right into the trash can. And then I have my diaper liner already in there. So that one's easy and convenient. And then on the right side, I ended up having to make something because I didn't have enough storage. And so I got these cubbies from um, Babies R Us. And I added some, some ribbon on the side in order to hang them all. And then I just hung them to the side of my diaper changing table. So now I have tons of storage. And um, on the top, I have my little wee wee covers. They won't pee on me. There's brush and comb. Um, I have some snappies, um, some diaper pins, and his um, butt cream, some disposable liners, some reusable liners. So 
so it's my most used stuff. I have um, backup wipes right here on the next shelf, and then I have some um, pre-fold inserts right here. I think this is an apple cheeks one and a uh, flip um, pre-fold insert. And then I have other miscellaneous inserts that go with um, some of the diapers. And I've only put um, one insert in each diaper, but if I needed to double up, I could double up with any of these doublers or extra inserts that I have. Then on the last shelf, I have um, two of the Grovia um, disposable inserts. I just thought I'd like to try them out. I actually got them for my sister, but I have two so I can try them out for myself. I got my extra wet bags uh, for my diaper bag. Got my extra pail liner down here, and then I have all my breast pads down here. So that's how much I was able to fit onto my um, my little homemade cubby unit. Up above the diaper station, I have some wall hooks, so I can hang, you know, hats or um, his clothes. Right now I just have like a little toy in case he wants to play with a toy while I'm changing him. So I might just hang various toys for him to play with. And then up above that I have a cubby unit which mostly holds my um, wipes. So in the um, two cubbies right here I have all my wipes. And then I have um, Q-tips and um, just some baby oil and baby lotion and um, a cute little picture my daughter drew of uh, Lincoln. She just loves it. And then um, the rest of it's just decoration for the most part. I got this little one right here and you know, I kind of put little samples in it. But nothing important. And then as far as my stash for uh, all my diapers after this newborn point. I have those in the closet because I couldn't fit them in my diaper station. So I hung a rod kind of on the side of my closet and that fits all of my um, fitteds up here. This is all my post newborn fitteds and um, upcycled t-shirt um, prefolds, winged prefolds. All my um, post newborn pockets more post more newborn pockets and it goes pretty deep I can get two layers you know front to back of, um, of diapers in here so lots of storage right here I have all my post newborn um, all in one diapers and then all my post newborn covers and then uh, wool longies and things like that and then um, down at the bottom I have some flat diapers which I'm going to move over to um, this changing station as soon as those disposables are gone. And some extra disposables just in case we go on a trip. So anyway, that is how I've decided to work my diaper changing station and I guess we'll see how it works. Oh, and just, you know, on the other side of the room I have my um, my laundry hamper. So it's a little bit of a trek. I probably would have put it where the diaper pail is if I didn't have that but anyway I think it'll work really good and uh, we'll see you in another uh, three to five weeks okay thanks for joining me and I hope you'll join me again for another of my adventures in fluff